Good afternoon, esports fans. This is Coach Hubdy coming to you live from Los Alamos, New Mexico, for the first round of the New Mexico Educational Esports Classic Rocket League Tournament. Today, Los Alamos is going to be taking on Sandia Prep in the first round of this single elimination bracket tournament that's going to be going on the next three days or so. Um, first two days are all online, and then if you can make it to the semifinals or better, we're actually going to be traveling down to University of New Mexico for the finals in person. So really exciting tournament put on by uh, New Mexico Educational Program and RTI, I believe. Um, joining me today on the cast is Coach Goodbody. Coach B Goodbody, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Going to be exciting to see this whole kickoff uh not sure how the seeding happened. It's pretty interesting to see what people's <laughs> ranks are going to be. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting tournament, and yeah, it's it's everything is on the line each match as, as a single elimination bracket. So not really any mistakes can be made. Uh, speaking of the bracket, I have it here if you want to take a look at it real quick. Um, as I mentioned, the next three days are going to be uh, full of of Rocket League action. I know that the tournament also has a uh, League of Legends component that. We're not involved in this season, but obviously we'll be playing League of Legends next spring for the uh, Play Versus tournament. But yeah, uh, you can see here the first round of the bracket. Uh, looks like we're seeded eighth. Coach Goodbody, what do you think? I think that's a pretty good seeding. It's going to be interesting. We have to play today, tomorrow, and also on Friday if we continue on. So it's more opportunity for being eliminated. So mistakes <laughs> will be coming through and, and stress make them to each team. So see how they handle it. Exactly. Let's take a look at the Los Alamos lineup if you want to uh, uh, give us a little scouting on our lineup. Coach Goodbody, what do you think? Yeah, so it's going to be a pretty heavy lineup that we got. I mean, these guys were playing last season in the spring season and did very well through uh, into the uh, fall season, or, uh, excuse me, the playoffs into that season. And they were able to get very close. I believe they finished second or third. Okay. Okay. I think it was third in that last season. So we got Pizro, Donovan De La Cruz. He's running in GC3 currently. And a uh, very flashy player. He, he's really going to full commit on this. We got Ryan, which is Ryan Peterson. He's uh, around champ three, I believe, right now. And then uh, just T-man, Taron Bingham. He's running around C2. And they're, they're definitely melding. They've been playing a little bit for this previous week. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the passing plays are going to be. Yeah, full strength on display here from the Los Alamos side. Uh, our usual... 
top-notch scouting coach good buddy not quite up to par this week for uh, sandia prep all we know is that <laughs> somewhere around the platinum level is what we're expecting but you know that could be that could be bad info that could be uh just something on paper can't always trust what's on paper so we're gonna yep. take this with the with the full strength in mind here for for the los alamos side have to be a little careful yeah they could be kind of playing the game you know trying to see what they can get seated and maybe play with our emotions a little bit and say oh you know we're gonna lighten up a little bit playing someone <laughs> of a different rank but they're gonna catch them off guard and we'll see how the outcome is all right we should be starting this match here in just one minute uh no lobby yet just a reminder to check out our merch page if you haven't picked up any merch yet you're you're falling behind folks uh, check out skulls.com slash collection slash secret city esports. The link is just right at the bottom of your page. If you're watching us on Twitch right now, just scroll down half a scroll and you can see we have that link to the skulls page right there. Proceeds from the merch page go directly to the secret city esports high school esports team. Um, so help support the the team, uh, give your support to the esports team around town by wearing your merch drinking out of your mug uh sounds like we're gonna be getting started in the match here pretty soon anything else coach good body yeah that'll be uh something interesting I, i'm not sure if they reported what players they're gonna be having for the roster and whether they're gonna sub someone in so i think that's gonna be an interesting uh potential from sandia prep exactly make sure to subscribe to the twitch page click that button right below the green arrow uh if you have amazon prime it's free to subscribe and that also directly supports the secret city esports club um, all proceeds from the stream goes towards directly back into the program um also make sure to follow so you can catch the streams live we have kind of a busy schedule this week so we have a, a match today obviously hopefully a match tomorrow um, that will be uh, straight sure match actually two matches that we're going to be having uh, yeah. if we do win this bracket we're going to be playing for this tournament and also we're going to have the current season going so that one's going to be <laughs> fun to juggle and we'll have to try and figure out which one we're going to showcase yeah we're uh you're giving away the production here a little bit coach goodbody we'll 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 stream the uh new mexico sports educational esports classic round two tomorrow if we advance today uh, okay. live and then uh, we'll we'll stream the play versus match on saturday saturday night kind of back to our original schedule so okay that's the plan for now anyway gotcha make sure to check out our other social media pages you're already on the twitch page good job uh make sure to check out our facebook our twitter our youtube and our website uh twitter is a good 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 place to keep up with our results we try to post those as soon as as soon as matches finish uh, over this fall season to so you can keep track of our record even if you miss the match. Um, otherwise, yeah, check out our YouTube page. That has all the recordings of our matches. And I don't know what else to say. I'm ready for some Rocket League. Yeah, we're just going to be waiting for Sandia Prep to join in. I think they're getting ready for having their players get partied up, get the coach in here, and then we can start structuring this and is this a best of three for this match oh i hope it's a best of five that's what i was thinking yeah anyway. i believe yeah, it's a best of that's five what I was wondering. it's best five okay and it's going to give some some adjustments you know you get a little bit of reading the other team see how their play style is and see if you can adapt to it as best as possible so it gives extra time see how the plays are going to be strung out Perfect. I do see some Sandia prep players coming into the tournament at this moment. So I'm going to switch right over to the stream and we'll get started, folks. So it looks like Los Alamos and Blue this, this, not this week, but today. Um, and we have kickoff. We have to look at the uh, Sandia prep player names here. We have uh, Jux, Anti Ball Magnet, and. Rotney, Rotney, uh, in the lineup yeah. for Sandia Prep here. And it does show uh, 
uh, season two platinum for Jux, and then uh, season one silver, season one gold. So maybe they reported correctly, but they're just gonna see how they play, or maybe it's just a mind game. Plenty yeah, of pressure we'll being put on. See how the uh, teams come out of the gate here. Usually it's a little slow um, as they kind of feel each other out. Expecting some big aerial plays from uh, Poopies today. Uh, code name. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's his normal screen name? It's Pizro. I Pizro. Pretty sure. I always e get stuck on that. Yeah. <laughs> Pizro code name Poopies today. Uh, what you've seen so far in this this uh, season. Uh, he always comes up with something interesting. <laughs> oh, what a last catch. touch. Yeah, I'm going to catch a little bit of a rebound off the right post there with a pinch by just T-Man. At Dominus, he's able to get a wide area to get that hit back in the goal. Sandia Prep not able to get back in time to make that save. So Los Alamos with an early goal here. 1-0 lead in game one of this confirmed best of five match. And yeah, guess is that magnet. Not a flat aerial. <laughs> <laughs> that was great control coming out of him. Yeah, beautiful shot. Beautiful uh, air roll there to get good position on that ball and hit it right into the upper upper net. So Sandia Prep answers back immediately and says they are here to play. See if Ryan can make a play of his own here. Jux with a really dangerous ball back into the middle of the net. Sandia able to push it away though. Really nice shot by the Sandia side to try to get a long distance goal, but Hoopies is back in time to make that save, but immediately gets demoed by Anti-Ball Magnet. So far the MVP of the Sandia prep side. Team yeah, we'll, gonna make a run yeah. here. See what the control is gonna be for Ryan. He's typically not running a Dominus, so it may be a little bit different of a hitbox, but maybe you might swap it up here. Really nice pass down there by Hoopies to get that play started. Not sure if Ryan got a second touch on it. Yep. He does yeah, get a 50. 50 right there. Wow. Just T-Man following up very quickly. So a really nice team play there by the Los Alamos side to get a one goal lead back in this game one. Great play by Ryan. Play it nice and safe into the corner, see if they can slow down the play here. Poopy's cutting off that pass. Jucks with a miss touch. T-Man about to capitalize, oof. Looks like Sandia Prep is going to stabilize here for just a second. This T-Man with a little bit of backflip gets called off that ball by Poopies, actually. Nice bump there just at the end of that play by just T-Man. Poopies intercepts. See if he can make a play of his own here. Two players from Sandia Prep going up to defend that. And Jux with, a again, a really nice long shot in. Just T-Man almost mishandles that ball, but fortunately goes to the the backboard. Poopies with a really long distance play there. Really well defended by Anti-Ball Magnet. See if he can counter. <laughs> Just T-Man with a nice interception. And Los Alamos, Poopies able to get it right off the crossbar there, straight down. Started out there by Just T-Man getting that really nice interception and Poopies able to make a great play on that ball. Yeah, he definitely read that. That uh, Jux, I believe it was, was going to miss his touch there and just went for straight for shot. Yeah, we've seen that from Jux already a few times, just going for long long shots. Not going to work in the long term down the field against this Los Alamos side that's really ready for some uh, good rotations. So, Just T-Man with a bit of a miss, and we're going to see Poopies go up for... An attempt at a double touch, unbelievable shot off, high off the backboard by Poopies. I'm going to grab that one for replay, Coach Goodbody. Just an unfortunate read by that 
person playing defense on backboard and just left it wide open for Poopies to find that angle. Wow. Such a difficult shot from that high up yeah. backboard that he's able to get that on target is very, very impressive. Another double tap. A just little bit of deja vu there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just with a different result. Poopy's going for another double touch here. Not able to make a play on it. Just T-Man, the only one back right now. He gets beat. Let's see if Poopy's can get back in time. He can. See Dia Prep with a little bit of an opportunity there. Not able to push the ball down fast enough, though. Annabelle Magnet really on top of Poopy's plays here, it seems like. Pass by just T-Man to Poopy. Is Poopy going to make a second touch? Not able to win that 50-50. Antibald Magnet really should be the anti-poopies magnet right now. Tons of pressure coming out from Sandia Prep. They know they have to sell out and try and get these three goals in just to try and equalize. Yeah, just try to get a little bit more of a feel for the Los Alamos side potentially here in these last few seconds. Honestly doing a pretty good job of countering some of these Los Alamos plays so far. And with a nice touch off the backboard, Poopy's not a very strong shot in, but Los Alamos takes his first game one, one to zero, uh, one game to zero. I think the final score was four one. Yeah, four to one. Man, tons of shots coming out from Los Alamos side there. You got five, four, four, and they had pretty good defense, but they just couldn't quite get the reads as quick. Yeah, so definitely some. Uh, some dangerous plays coming out of Sandia Prep, especially from those uh, long distance goals there. But um, if they can, you know, control that ball just a little bit better. I know they did early in the game have a few softer touches to get those air dribbles started. But uh, so far, Los Alamos in control of this game. Yeah, definitely a... Uh... Interesting point. Ryan just changed back to Octane. Maybe he wasn't feeling it in that Dominus, so I think he's going to get more more consistent touches and go for those double taps off the backboard here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Going back to the Octane. So far, so good off this first 10 seconds. It's a demo <laughs> as well. Oopies with a nice pass in the middle. Just T-Man there. Two Sandia prep players in position. Ryan going for a shot. Not quite on target. See if Jux can do anything with this ball. He does win the 50-50 against Poopy. He's an anti-ball magnet. Probably going for a shot here. He gets by just T-Man for a really nice placement shot off a fast break and a 150-50 by Jux. It looks like uh, T-Man just pushed up a little too far and was able to get the ball sneaked right to the far post. Yeah, not really expecting a uh, lost 50-50 from Poopies to be honest, but... Uh, you know, get a little bit greedy there, and that's what's going to happen. So, Sandia Prep with first blood here in this game, too. Poopies with really nice deception there. See if he can beat the last man. He cannot. Ryan with the follow up. Not quite on target. Poopies going to put it right in front of goal. Almost a Ooh. shot on target. Unbelievable. Ryan with a nice pass off the backboard. See if just T Man can get up in time. He cannot. Poopy's in position to make a play on this. One touch. That's all he can do. Ryan coming in. Not quite patient enough for the pass out by Poopy's in the middle. And we'll see if Sandia Prep. Unfortunately, they're triple committed here. Just team end. A little bit of a fake. Poopy's off target. And Ryan staying back cautiously at the moment, which is probably the right play. I know they're a little low on boost. Jux with a nice interception here going to the middle. But Poopy's going to be able to handle that pretty easily. Taking his time here, see if he can... Ooh, really nice pass up to Ryan with a nice redirect. Unfortunately, Cindy at prep in position. Just T-Man gets a nice pass out. Poopies with a follow-up. He is going to get that goal. Very nice team play again from the Los Alamos side. Definitely looking for an open man and trying to use that boost very wisely and just keeping that ball bouncing from one possession to another. That's great. Yeah, sustained pressure there. Definitely paying off. Ryan go for a double. Couldn't quite get the read off the corner, but lets it just sit there bouncing in. 
Sandia prep territory. And they're just going to keep this pressure up. Goopy's coming in really strong there. Any mistake by the Sandia prep team so far getting punished this game by Poopies. He's in the right place at the right time. Really nice touch to the left side of the goal there. Where no defender was present. So it's almost suddenly on top here. Two minutes into game two here. Hitball Magnet going for an aerial play of his own. Really nice air dribble. I think that was defended by just T-Man. I'm not sure. I think it was Ryan was coming through for a 50. Oh, yep. Yep. And uh, got the bad end on that 50 there and just pinched it right in. Yeah, I don't think any player was probably going to be back quite in time for that, potentially. So it's the last ditch effort by Ryan there. And unfortunately, yep. it just goes in the right side of the goal. So Sandia Prep with a strong comeback. Jux with an aerial of his own. He whiffs, unfortunately. Otherwise, that was a really good opportunity for Sandia Prep off the kickoff there. Nice interception again by... Not sure if it was Jux or not, but... Looks like Sandia Prep's getting used to these long passing plays from the side walls. Poopies, another great touch. Fortunately, Ooh. Ryan... Just a little bit behind that ball. Just T-Man in good position to pick that off. Jux with a great pinch, though. Physical plays are starting to come out. Bumps coming through. Really nice Same slip reset. By Poopy is unable to make that second touch, though. Always scary when Poopies is going up into the air. Never yeah. know quite what's going to happen. Oh. Another shot off the crossbar by the Los Alamos side. Movies comes back. Somehow his ball bounces a couple times with no contact by either team. He's able to just circle around and get this uh, go-ahead goal with two minutes left in this game, too. And I think uh, comms are starting to get to the Sandia prep side. They're uh, kind of hopping out and double committing. Pretty consistent. Yeah, we've seen that a few times, unfortunately. They're able to stabilize and just, ooh, great pass in. They're able to stabilize and just get one one person committing to each ball. They're gonna be able to stabilize here really easily. But unfortunately, those those double commits and collisions are costing them at least in this game too. Ryan up, really nice touch. See if he can make a 50 here. He cannot. Just team man with a pass to the middle. Sandia prep right there. Anti-ball magnet taking his time here. Gets a flick. Unfortunately, just mishandles it slightly. Not able to get it above the defense there. Boopy's going for a pass play to the middle, looks like. Ryan just off target again, but really good potential there. Nice pass from Poopies. See if he makes a, his own play here. Pass in the middle. Gets intercepted by Jux. Jux Ooh, gets the demo. It. Oh. See if they can make a play on this. Poopy's back in time, easily able to clear this away. Gets a second touch, see if he can pinch this. Not quite able to get there. Fake. Rotney, able to make a backflip save there. Poopy's going one more time. <laughs> and his, his accuracy right now, for Poopy's anyway, just on point, getting those upper corners time after time this game. And that was even right where Sandia Prep was, and he just is able to place it right where he wants it. That is dangerous. Yeah, my level coach, good body, you kind of assume those are going to bounce out, but uh, at Poopy's level, I think they're kind of planned and just yeah. plays perfectly to avoid any defender. Poopy's going for a triple touch there. Not able to make that last hit. He's starting to heat up, certainly. Sandia Prep with a little bit of pressure to in this game. Unfortunately, two players miss. Anti-Ball Magnet is able to make that final save against Ryan. And at this point, Los Alamos is going to go two games to zero in this best of five series. Really nice games um, out of Poopies particularly. See, he has four goals off nice shots. So really dominating that, that second game here. And you can see uh, there's two assists coming out from Ryan, one assist coming from T-Man, so they're definitely getting their, their worth on their touches. It's just trying to figure out who's going to be getting an actual touch or if it's going to be a fake coming through. 
Saw a lot of that coming through from Sandia Prep. I think they're just starting to warm up. Yeah, I think, uh, as you mentioned, Coach Goodbody, a couple, three times they had a double or even a triple commit, which really cost them a couple of times there. Other couple of goals just coming off really skillful plays, either individually by Poopies or really nice passing plays uh, between the teams. So um, Sandia Prep certainly can can clean this up just a little bit and and come back here. But right now, Los Alamos in full control, I would say. Yeah. It seems to be uh, they're really threatened by poopies. So every single touch, they're just going to go and see if they can try and defend it. And uh, using one too many players to try and cut it off. So we'll hop into this uh, match point for Los Alamos. See if uh, Sandia Prep can steal a game here and stay, stay in this match. Great first touch by Poop. He's going for a double. Yeah, that's really tough to stop if you're going to let him go uncontested to the top of the backboard there. One, two. Third touch straight down off that backboard. Just a very, very high level play out of Poopies to get a one goal to zero lead early, early in this game three. Really nice shot. be a little disheartening for the Sandia prep side to base that great air dribble right off the bat. See if they can stabilize here. Get that ball magnet with a nice pass. Tried to get it off the corner of the middle. Fortunately, Poopy's going to intercept that. See if he can make an angle, angled shot here. He cannot. Runs out of room. Ryan back to the middle. Rotney pushes it out, but Poopy's is able to turn around just in time and make that final touch. It looked like a chance for a fast break there for Sandia, just for a half second, but Poopy's able to recover just in time and get that that rebound. Yeah, it looks like anti-ball magnet just landed on the crossbar. Awkward trying uh, to defend that and just couldn't that. get down to the ground. Good catch, Coach Goodbody. Perfect. So Sandia prep already in a bit of a hole here. Poopy's mercilessly attacking <laughs> that goal holy moly honestly I'm it's, I am not playing yeah honestly it's good to see that demo out of just t-man that's that's you know one stat we've seen this season that has been really lacking for the uh for the lots almost side is that demo play we've been out demoed every match i believe so far this season so getting a little bit more aggression will be nice poopies <laughs> Kind of making a routine double touch at this point. <laughs> Unfortunately for the Sandia prep side, this is very tough. Looks like there's a little bit of a problem with getting the right with number Rodney. of players in here. I'm not sure what's, yeah. going, what's going on with this. but I think you might be getting the issue having a second player come in and his uh, controller's disconnected. Oh my gosh, that's really unfortunate. I see all, all players moving at this point, but I don't know what the problem is. Los Alamos is taking full advantage though. Unfortunately, I don't know if they really know what's going on either. So deep, deep hole there for Sandia Prep. Unfortunately, Los Alamos just piling on at this point. Five goals, one minute and ten seconds into this match. There's so much pressure coming out from Los Alamos, not even letting someone have possession of the ball or get a flick out. Goodness. See if uh, Los Alamos starts getting some uh, passing plays in here now that they have a comfortable lead. It's a good, a good time to test out some more difficult passing plays and skills potentially. See if Poopy uh, starts serving up some nice passes. Looks like they're just going to apply straight pressure though. <laughs> yeah. Just keep on chugging along with this momentum that they have built up. Potentially a little Goodness. bit of a chip on the shoulder for a eighth seed in this tournament. Poopy's just going for clip after clip at this point for for the highlight reel. I, I think it's definitely safe to say that everybody is warmed up and uh, maybe he's a little too warm just putting on a lot of pressure. Yeah, we see, uh, I don't know if Jux was 
disconnected there. He was sitting on that boost pad. Yeah, he was waiting for boost. And that's not going to buy you much right now. Seems like the pace of play has been consistent Ooh. coming from Los Alamos. What a fake. That was a quite a fake out by Ryan there to get a really cheeky shot in off that last flip. Really nice individual play there by Ryan. See that in your bottom left corner. Able to get the wheels on that. Really nice shot. Oopies. Showtime. Able to get one, two. Unfortunately, he runs out of boost. Ryan with the demo this time. India Prep with a little bit of breathing room here. Rotney gets a a little bit of revenge against just T-Man there. Fortunately, Poopy's there to put the pressure right back on Sandia Prep. Just T-Man going up, not able to get a shot straight down. Poopy's going for a pass to the middle. See if just T-Man can turn on this. He can. Just going for another pass to Poopy's out to the middle for Ryan for a wide open goal. Really nice pass play there by the Los Alamos side. All three members getting touches within a few seconds there. Excellent play yeah. overall. Poopies with zero boost, able to find that pinch and just get a nice hard pass out to mid. Yeah, unfortunately for the Sandia prep side, Los Alamos kind of just padding the stat book in this third and final game. Throwing in a ninth goal there. That was supposed to be a save, but I think it was an unintentional own goal. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, Ryan just didn't get a piece of it, and Rodney couldn't quite make connection. Yeah, he was just out of goal a little bit too far. Fortunately, Cindy prep a little bit in panic mode at this point, just trying to survive. Hopefully they can turn things around and get a, a consolation goal or two. It would be nice to see. Nice forward pass coming through. It looks like Cindy uh, Preps is possibly just giving up. Uh, Jax is just doing some donuts in the middle. Not ideal to see that. Uh, but alas, uh, this is a really strong game by the Los Amas side. And could be a little bit demoralizing in this game three, unfortunately. I'm sure it could just be something for nerves got to them and uh, you know they just buckled a little bit under some pressure and especially after two games down it can kind of get to your mental so I'm sure they're doing great in their uh, fall season in the start and uh, I hope this doesn't carry on I'm sure they will have a nice reset and continue with their season yeah we saw them dealing with the, the poopies pressure pretty well the first game or two actually kind of getting to balls pretty quickly and 50 50 -ing him very well we saw a couple demos come out as well but yeah this third game that that kickoff goal you know immediately by poopies just kind of set the tone unfortunately yeah. that's the thing is kickoffs are definitely crucial i mean everybody's trying to go for boost and if you don't have a good call out it can just fall apart pretty quick Oh, another one just keeps on going through. He didn't uh, go straight for shot. Figured he was just going to pass it out. Let Ryan collect it. Yeah, and uh, I think Sandia Prep just hoping the clock runs out here at this point. Hoping time moves faster. Unfortunately, time cannot move faster. the 12th goal goes in here with a Los Alamos side. I don't know what to say, Coach Goodbody. Yeah, it just has me speechless. Um, I mean, it's just definite control and pressure that came out on this third game. Um, they were doing great for their first. They had uh, some form of control. They had some possession, and 
just almost eked out a goal on this third game, just to try and keep that momentum. But uh, yeah, it was a completely tough fell apart. Call. We don't know what exactly was happening with uh, Rotney and you know a player two coming in at that point, but it, it just completely went to shambles that that third game. Yeah, but, but yeah. <laughs> So strong, strong start to this tournament by Los Alamos side overall. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to be going up against uh, La Cueva, which is going to be the next game. Uh, that's going to be number one seed. Um, they're pretty good in their their player roster. I believe they're all GC. So with a game like this, I hope uh, Los Alamos has definitely got warmed up and will be able to get into the next game for tomorrow yeah that's a really good good point coach good body that uh yeah your expectation of going up, up against the number one seed tomorrow will be that it's gonna be extremely tough matchup so getting warmed up here uh, in this format is is a really good thing for the los Alamos side certainly it'll be interesting to see what the posted results are going to be for uh all the other people in this whole bracket and kind of scout them out and see what's going to be played for their top players or if they're just going to keep someone in the stables. Yeah, let's head back to the uh, bracket here real quick. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, the other match I think is being casted live as well. Um, let's see if we can pull that up. I believe it was the Rams that were doing the cast. Uh, sorry. A little technical difficulty here. I think uh, the Rams, I actually don't know. I think that's the Portales stream. They they still could be streaming live if you guys want to check that out. Shout out to the Rams stream. But here you can I see did. certainly top of that bracket. We're moving on to face La Cueva, the top rated school, both in the high school and college realms in New Mexico right now. So extremely tough matchup coming up against the Bears. Definitely give everybody a, a look up on their esports page and Twitch channels so that way you can follow along with the bracket as you like. Uh, it's going to be a lot of very high level gameplay coming from this for both high school and college players. And everybody's trying to break out and go for this higher education esports tournament. Yeah, check out the stream. I should be scheduled for 6 p.m. tomorrow night against La Cueva. It's going to be fireworks. Um, I can almost guarantee that. <laughs> Otherwise, well, that was definitely a speechless game on that third game. But uh, yeah, they had some good amount of pressure, good amount of plays. But we'll almost kept it up. And thank you for uh, having me on this and let me commentate on some of this. It was it was rough seeing that third game, though. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one to cast there, Coach. Good buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> All right. Well, My thanks everyone. On the, floor the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We will catch you guys tomorrow.